I'm Melinda Elmer and I'm with Century 21 Masters. Today I'm here to talk to you a little bit about the costs associated with selling your home. Hi, I'm Melinda Elmer with Century 21 Masters. Today here with Alicia Smith of Premier Services. And today we're going to talk about some of the costs associated with selling your home. Now everybody knows about commissions. And that's usually one of the first questions people ask, obviously. But not a lot of people know about title and escrow fees. So I brought, invited Alicia to come talk with us today about what those are and explain what those different fees are. So what are escrow and title fees? What does that cover? Well, the escrow fee covers our department, which is the third party mutual party for all agents, lender, buyer, seller that's on the transaction. Title fees cover the insurance by the title and what they are clearing for your title and what they are providing to you. So as far as clearing seller's mortgage that they currently have and providing insurance for the lender or the bank that you are borrowing your loan to purchase the property. Okay, great. Thank you. So what ultimately you know, are some of the costs that would be in there um, that we would see on a closing statement? So on a closing statement for title fees, you would see for seller owner's policy, for buyer uh, lender policy, and for both you would see sub escrow fees that split. Sub escrow fee for title is the cost that they incur to handle the funds from your lender and handling the money for the seller to pay their mortgage off. There would be endorsement fees, and those are requirements added on to the title by the bank. And so they can vary, or they cannot be required at all. It depends on what, you, what your loan uh, requirements are. The other fees are messenger fees, because uh, let's face it, everything needs to close ASAP. And so there are often times where a private delivery service is brought in to messenger loan documents, to messenger title documents, so that we can get them to the county recorder and be reported. Uh, wire fees are incurred because you, your bank is wiring title, your funds that you're borrowing, and then they're wiring out on the seller's behalf the payment to pay off county taxes, uh, pay off the current mortgage, or any liens that may be on the property so that it can be cleared. Uh, the transfer tax, that's another ta uh, fee that's on there, transferring from the owner to the new buyer. And every county has a transfer tax that's required to be paid. On the owner's premium, that's a title, the, a title charge to the seller. And on the new forms, uh, closing estimate statements that you see, the word optional has been listed there. It is not optional to pay it, <laughs> but the option, we'll get into that just a little bit later. So basically, a lot of the costs are really coming from the seller's lender that they have right now, and you're just getting those costs paid for on behalf of the seller, correct? Correct. So there's not a whole lot that can be done about it. It's just, it is what it is. It is what it is. And it's to their benefit because it's an insurance that's ensuring that your title is going to be cleared, and if something was not cleared or not caught at the time of your transaction, then the title company would be responsible to indemnify you of the because you paid for it. Right. And I have had cases where somebody's had to come back and use that title insurance because a tax bill showed up from years before somebody right. purchased the property. So it's very important to have that title insurance. Now, you mentioned that optional fee. Mm -hmm. Why does that say optional? It says optional because they've made the new forms uh, be able to be used both East Coast and West Coast. And on the East Coast, there's fees are disclosed and the parties responsible for paying them are slightly different than they are over here on the West Coast. And so for that reason, the option is the option of who's paying it, the buyer or the seller, not if it's being paid. And in here in California, we have pretty much a standard way of buyers paying certain fees and sellers paying for certain fees. Correct. So, and every state is going to be different for that, those fees and costs. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now. You know, people ask me a lot about junk fees. How does somebody know that they're getting a junk fee? And uh, how can they avoid getting those junk fees? Well, typically, there aren't junk fees listed in and longer. There used to be previously fees that were added in, uh, miscellaneous fees uh, to the transaction. But because of the new regulations, it's tightened up quite a bit. 
Uh, we have to stay within 10% of any change of the fees that we disclose, and all the fees need to be as close as possible to what the actual fee is going to be. So some may consider messenger or wire fee adjunct fee, but they aren't because they're necessary for the title to do their job and this is their fee for doing it. Uh, used to be a refundable pad that was listed on there. Not necessarily a junk fee, but it was a fee included that didn't necessarily need to be there. Of course, it was for the benefit of the buyer, but it, that is no longer used either. So there, there really isn't junk fees anymore listed um, on the statements or allowed to be uh, disclosed to clients. Now, this regulation that she's talking about, they just uh, changed the rules last year. So uh, the government basically tightened up all of the paperwork in the lending industry to really eliminate all those kinds of junk fees and so the consumers don't have to worry about that anymore. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for coming out to explain all of these things today. Thank you for having me. If you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to myself or Alicia. And Alicia can be reached at 949-383-5527. Thank you so much for watching, and if you have any referrals for me, feel free to give me a call at 562-316-2915, or if there's anything I can do to help you with any real estate needs, give me a call. You can also email me at melinda at theelmerteam.com, and feel free to click on the links below to get more information about your home's value or what's on the market right now. Thanks so much for watching.